So when I do the red ball challenge, I like to give the students a file that I've already pre-made. So at slide number one, it's blank. Slide number two and three, the ball enters. And I like to have it come right in the center because it just makes it easier for the kids to work on the transitions. And slide four through 22 is what the students will figure out how they want their red ball to move. So it can go in a rainbow, it can go up and down, it can do a little loop. It's really up to them what they want to do with their red ball. And then slides 23 and 24 is where it exits over here. So basically we have an entering, an exit, and then they can do whatever they want here. I leave slides 25 and slide one's blank so that when they make copies of the blank later, it's a little easier for them. Um, and 25 is just an easier number for them to work with when they start adding all the slides. So the animation part is pretty simple, actually. So um, I'm going to start with slide four because that's where the students start. So you just take your ball and reposition it however you want it to go. So if I want it to go up and down, I can change that. And this is the difficult part because the students have to figure out how far the ball should be moving in each part of their animation. So if I wanted to do a little loop here, move that. And I'm just doing it very quickly, but some students might take a little time to get the hang of this. Okay, so this is pretty much all set. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. I'm just going to hit the arrow key down just so you can see from slide to slide what the animation is. And then it exits. Okay, so to publish this animation, it's actually a few steps, but you kind of get the rhythm of it. So we want to go to File, Publish to the Web. And I have already published it, but the first time you do this, you will have to hit Publish and then click OK at the top. Um, but we do want to make sure that this is every second. And you will see the link here. I don't click on either one of these, especially for the red ball. I don't want it to start right away, and I don't want it to restart right away either. So I'm going to copy this link, and this kind of helps the students learn the cut, copy, paste commands a little bit faster. So what they're going to do is copy. They're going to create a new tab, so Control T, and then Control V to paste. And then the last thing is right here. This is actually the delay of the slides. So if you don't delete the last zero, it will move a little slower, but that's up to you. I like to delete the last zero because it does move a little quicker. So after you do that, you can hit Enter, and the player pops up. So come down here, and you can hit the Play button. And there is our animation. Now you can simply use this to create a regular animation, but obviously with the Red Ball Challenge, we want them to learn how to go from Chromebook to Chromebook. So when the students have created their first Red Ball, they can go ahead and make a copy if they want to do another version of it. So you can go to Make a Copy. Maybe we call this Red Ball number two or number three. and that will open up and make a copy. Again, adjusting slides 4 through 22. So this is the animation part of this step. The next step I'm going to show you is how to add slides so that when everybody hits play at the same time, you will see the animation leap from Chromebook to Chromebook or give the illusion of it going from Chromebook to Chromebook. Now, if the students only create one red ball, that's perfectly fine. They can copy these slides and then paste it after whatever number blank slides that they need. So, for instance, if I wanted to copy this, I can select the first slide, scroll down. I'm going to hold Shift, then click, and now all of these are selected, and I can copy. So, again, Control-C, come down to the slide after. So this might be a number of slides, maybe 50 slides, 75 slides. And after you have all of those blank slides in there, then you want to paste the red ball. I'm just pasting it just to show you that it does come in in here. But now I want to show you how the magic happens. So keep in mind, the animation that you have, the red ball, how many slides is the red ball animation? 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. So that animation is 25 slides. In order for 
for you to get to the second what Chromebook. Yes. What should the second Chromebook have before the animation? 25 blank slides. 25 blank slides. Huh? And then what? Uh, and then? 25 uh, slides with the, of the red ball on it. With the red ball animation. Perfect. How about Chromebook number three? 25 blank slides. 25 blank slides oh, no, oh. and? So we're waiting for this animation, this animation, and? Another 25. So technically that's how many? 50. 50. And then the next one is 75. And then this one, yes, 75. Now here's the tricky part. You need to take whoever has Chromebook number one has to pick up their Chromebook and continue the line. So you already have 25 slides for your animation that's there. So how many blank slides would you need if you're waiting for this Chromebook, this Chromebook, and this Chromebook? I need to do 100. Think again. We're waiting for just this one, this one, and this one. 75 oh. more. 75. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So when you guys have gotten to the second round here, I know what to do. the number 75 should appear after your animation for everybody. That's the most number of slides that you will have before your next animation. Now, if you want to, you can use your second animation that you have of your red ball. Some of you have two different ones. And so you can copy and paste those slides in that one slide. So you should have in Google Slides your red ball animation, some blank slides, and then you can insert your other slides. So just copy and paste them from the other document. So here's an example of two Chromebooks open in Google Slides. This is Chromebook number one, Chromebook number two. In Chromebook number one, I have just the one blank slide and then my animation. In Chromebook number two, I need to have a number of 25 blank slides before my animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add or duplicate 25 times 25. So I have my 25 slides and then my animation. So now I'm going to publish them to the web File, publish to the web, every second, copy link, new tab, paste, delete the zero, enter. Same thing on this here, file, publish to the web, every second, publish. So this is the first time I have published this, so you can see I'm publishing, I have to click OK here, and then my link will appear. So copy, new tab, paste, backspace, enter. So now they're both in the player, but I do allow them to use the full screen mode, which makes it look pretty cool. So I will hit play at the same time, so you can see this in real time here. One, two, And that's how you do the red ball challenge.